Oh, 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 oh. My crutches. What am I going to do without my crutches? <laughs> oh, hello there. Some of the opinion that Undying is slightly overtuned at the moment. So if there does come a patch where Undying gets, you know, nerfed to the point where it's unusable, I wanted to talk about some perks that you can run instead. All right, so before I even talk about the perks, I'm just going to say right now, I'm going to be running barbecue and chili on almost all my builds, and that's mostly because I like the extra blood points. Uh, and the aura reading is very useful, but it's mostly just for the blood points. So you can treat barbecue and chili as like a flex slot. So if you want um, to run another perk instead of barbecue and chili, that's perfectly fine. So the two most obvious perks that a lot of killer mains are probably going to predict that people are going to start using once Undying is nerfed is we're going to probably go back to using Corrupt Intervention and Pop Goes the Weasel. Corrupt makes it so that survivors can't do split gens uh, for the first two minutes of the game, and Pop Goes the Weasel is obviously a regression perk where uh, after hooking someone you can kick a generator and rip off 25% of its total progress. The only downside to this perk combo compared to Undying Ruin is that it requires a little bit more effort on your part to maintain regression, so not only do you have to hook someone to get the Pop Goes the Weasel buff, but you also have to go out of your way to kick a generator, whereas if you're using Undying Ruin, you could just, you know, immediately start the next chase after hooking somebody. Uh, so for the fourth slot, it's generally a flex slot, just like Barbecue and Chili. Uh, in my opinion, you want to use information perks uh, on this fourth slot, so stuff like Discordance, Tinkerer, throwing tremors, whispers, and the reason why I talk about information perks a lot and why I highly recommend it is because Blight's mobility allows him to act on information really quickly and effectively. Uh, he's one of the few killers that I know where dropping a chase on a semi-regular basis is actually kind of okay because oftentimes you can catch other survivors out of position so long as you have the information to uh, you know work with. And that's pretty much that. Let's just go into some gameplay and I can discuss you know what I'm thinking and you know how to make use of the perks that I was just talking about. Are you serious? This is torture. Why are we at Larry's, man? <laughs> oh well. Okay, so corrupt interventions already. If you don't know what it does, you can see what it's doing right now. The uh, white auras are all the generators that are being blocked off, and uh, I'm just gonna be checking the generators that they can work on, which are the red ones. I don't see anyone at the moment, though. Uh, uh I don't like Larry's just because I'm. I haven't had a lot of practice on Larry's with Blight, so I'm not very comfortable using his powers in a lot of these, I guess, tiles or loops. And, uh, oh, hello. Oh, it's a hit. Free hit. Nice, nice. So, uh, depending on how well they play, uh, this could very well be. Is this head on? Oh my goodness, yeah, it's head on. Hey, on the plus side, though, no dead heart. Uh, what was I saying again? Yeah, so, uh, Larry's. Depending on how well they play, it, it could be, um, it could be very, very miserable to play as killer. So we'll see. I'm gonna take her to the basement. I think. Yeah, we got time. Tinker hasn't popped off or anything, so no one's really close to completing a generator yet. We still got corrupt intervention going, so getting a hook this early is really nice. Because the only generators they can work on are, are the uh, four right next to us. Hello, Jane. I was gonna kick a generator, but uh, I'm gonna just chase her instead. So that's the thing I was saying about like ruin uh, compared to pop is like, if I had ruin right now, uh, you know it wouldn't matter if I start this, if I uh, started this chase like early or not. But in the case of pop, I'm not getting pop value right now. Like I'm not kicking any generators, so uh, for the time being, I'm not getting anything done with pop as a weasel. But that's okay. Um, in this case, I'd rather take a. A quick hook rather than like finding a generator to kick. So I'm okay with this. Okay, um, there's one far away. I think I'm gonna just kick this gen and just let them have the far gen. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And then we'll head over there. Maybe we can catch them. Let's see. Oh, no, never mind. They left kind of early. Oh, so the add-ons I'm running are uh, Canker Thorn and Compound 21. It's, uh, Compound 21 isn't really that good since the nerf. It's kind of okay. Um, I put it on just because I didn't want to use my other add-ons. And I kind of wanted to save up blood points to start spending them to get my other add-ons back. Uh, hello. 
Uh, so because of that, uh, I guess I'm kind of lucky that we got... Oop, I missed. I played that really, really poorly. In a way, I'm kind of lucky that we got Larry's with Compound 21. This is one of the few mats where I feel like it's kind of okay. And Tinker popped off, so... Um, we could go there to contest it. Never mind, we actually can't. I'm assuming that's two people on the gen. He is that hard? Yeah, he's that hard. Okay. Something that I've noticed is uh, I'm pretty... I'm pretty reckless with the blight charges, and uh, to like explain that a little bit more, um, there's definitely some loops where you can kind of you can kind of play some loops the same way, right? And you don't really have to big brain it or try to like outplay people with blight. But uh, for me, I guess uh, a lot of these matches I record like right after I've had my coffee and. Uh, I like, I like drinking a lot of caffeine, so I was pretty, pretty much just cracked out on caffeine for uh, most of these matches. So sometimes I get a little bit jittery and I kind of just like do really stupid uh, blight rushes. So, um, I'm, gonna, I'm just warning you at, oh, oh, I was trying to bait out the dead hard. I'm just warning you ahead of time that uh, this is not uh, the peak of blight gameplay, but Nonetheless, it's pretty decent. Uh, what are we looking at? Uh huh. Uh huh. Can I swing for this? Oh, smart, smart. Where is she going? Does she have anything to work with here? I don't think so. Yeah, she's got nothing. All right. Yeah, we're gonna take this ballot and hook her. And very conveniently, there is a basement for me again. Hello. Hello, hello. Tinker is popping off. What do we got? Okay, that's actually really close. We can probably get the uh, pop goes the weasel on that generator and take away some of that progress. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up that bump. That's my fault. We didn't get that pop value, dude. Unlucky. <clears throat> oh. Alright. Oh. You see what I mean? I'm getting a little bit... I'm getting a little bit impatient with my, uh, with my Blight Rushes. It's okay, he ran back into me. Actually, I got some uh, Compound 21 value out of that. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, Adam. I see you, I see you. Wait, where'd he go? Hello? Compound 21? What? Is he not in this corner? Like, in the locker or something? Am Excuse me? I'm blind. Oh my goodness, I'm actually blind. I'm also getting zero pop value again, by the way. But that's okay. We uh, Jane's here too. Okay, so even we don't get pop value, uh, three of them are here. So there's only one person right now that's working on a generator. So this is actually really good for me. They're not getting anything done. And that's great. And this Jane is... Uh... Okay, there we go. Maybe I can Blight Rusher here. I could fake this. I go here and just moonwalk this. Yeah. Hello, hello. Oh, Tinker's going off again. Can I make it, though, this time? I'm really sad. I fucked up, uh... I fucked up my, my bumps earlier. Uh, which... Oh, okay. Nice pop value, by the way. He deadhearted that, I think. Or I might have missed. That's fine. Okay, Megan. What was she trying to do? Assassinate me? Assassin's Creed or something? I'm sorry, Megan. I'm debating. Nah, nah, we're not. We're not. We're not. I was thinking about slugging these two, and for the uh, the early 4K, but I think we're just gonna hook them. 
They still have to do two more generators, and uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty comfortable with the spacing at the moment. So we're not really in a rush to like sweat that hard. Okay. There's Jane going for the unhook. So in this kind of situation, as long as I can continue downing people super super fast, um, the match is pretty much like 100% in my favor. Okay. Does she have a D-Strike? Ooh, no. Okay. Unlucky. I think she's also death hook. Okay. Two gens and two players left. That's 100% in my favor now. It's not even a question. No doubt in my mind we got this. And we got scratch marks too. Even better. Uh, which direction though? This way, I think? Yeah, this way, this way. For sure. He's back in this corner. Any dead heart? No? Okay. Isn't this guy also death hook? I wanna say he is. I'm not really sure. Where would um where would Adam be though? Let's see. The Oh, I see him. He's right there. Oh, but we got hatch though. Um we're gonna wait on hatch. I'm gonna close it first. And then we're gonna we're gonna find him after this or try to at least. Uh yeah. Oh, actually, okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We got scratch marks to follow. As long as I don't potato this, we'll be a okay. I'm pretty sure. Where is he? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I think this match is over. I want to say. Yuppers? I think so. I think so, I think so. Oof. Cool. And I think that's the match. That's it! That's a wrap! Ah! Okie dokie, suffocation pit. Already, already. Let's see, let's see. Anyone over here? Sometimes, it's very rare, it's very, very rare, but sometimes you do get a survivor that kind of spawns like semi close to you. So that's why I uh, check those generators that are generally pretty close to me. Normally, like, it, like, it doesn't happen, honestly, like 90% of the time, but you know, when you do. When it does happen, though, it's uh, pretty nice. Nope. He should have dropped it earlier, but that's okay. Sometimes I feel like I, well, not not I think, but more like I, I know for a fact I sometimes do my blight rushes way too quickly. Um, especially when I'm in like tighter corridors, you kind of have to take your time because I don't know if it's like a hitbox issue or like latency that causes it, but sometimes when you chain your rushes too quickly, you end up bumping into objects that are like kind of next to you, but not in front of you. Um, and I feel like I'm probably gonna do it again in these loops, but it happens a lot where I kind of just chain them a bit too quickly and I just bump into objects that I shouldn't be bumping into. Okay. That was a little ambitious on my part. I'm not gonna lie, that was very, very ambitious on my part. Um, and that's uh, that's a that's a thing that I do a lot with blight is uh, I kind of I kind of try out some really questionable blight rushes. Um, I would say if if you're taking any notes from me, uh, maybe play a little bit more conservative if you want. But uh. I don't know. I think half the fun is trying to see if you can get like some crazy. Oh, okay. What am I doing? Okay, we're gonna get some pop value here, and we're gonna break this pallet. And oh, hello, Dwight. I honestly thought he was gonna hold W all the way to the uh, main building, but he didn't. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try some big brain stuff here. Oh, yes. A little flick over there. Cool, cool. Alright. 
see if we can catch him here. I want... Uh, I want my chases to be on this side of the map. I don't want to play on the other side of the map where the main building is. So if I can keep my pressure here and keep all the survivors on this side of the map and keep these generators from popping, then we're going to be A-OK. -okay. There's three people on this generator. Or three people were on this generator, so everyone's on this side of the map right now. So this is exactly what I want. This is exactly what I want right now. We're going to hook Dwight. We're going to get our pop goes the weasel, and we're going to pop that generator and get some regression going. So I'm in a super, super good position right now because everyone is on the side of the map and three people are working on the same generator, which means no other generator progress is happening. I'm going to keep this. Uh, I'm going to check this generator over here. I feel like they're going to... Yeah. Yeah, hello, Yui. I had a hunch. I had a hunch that they want to all play close by. Um, For those of you who are survivor mains and you're, like, trying to... Uh, step up your your gameplay uh generally you want to stay very very split up for the most part right um contest you want to do like all the i mean uh doing the generator in the middle map is also really good um but oh okay yui but uh splitting up and doing a bunch of generators that are far apart from each other makes it harder for the killer to uh control the pacing of the match for the most part and I can go into more detail about that, but I'm sure plenty of other content creators have talked about, like, split-gen pressure. But, you know, it makes sense, right, for the most part, aside from, like, Blight having insane mobility. Like, for other killers, um, especially on big maps, it, it, it's, it is a lot of time spent traveling from generator to generator. So, getting progress on multiple generators at once um, on other parts of the map is uh, really hard for a killer to deal with. Okay, drop that really early. All right. So you see how they're burning pallets uh, on this side of the map? So ideally, like I said before, I want to keep all of my pressure on this side of the map. So hopefully if we can keep them all here, this is perfect. All right. There's two of them over there. Let's see if I can cut one off. Yep. Oh, do I give up? What happened? Oh, okay, Kate. I think Dwight gave up. That's unlucky. And someone else DC'd? Or they crashed? I think they crashed. Okay, well, um... This game's kind of over. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This game's definitely over. Alrighty. I think they realized... Uh, that their teammates kept going down way too quickly. Um, and I didn't really give them time to recover and heal up and then split up to do uh, different generators because I kept downing someone and someone had to come save and then someone had to come heal and then I downed someone else. So uh, I can I can totally understand why people would um, like give up here. It's a little unfortunate, but um, game's over. But that's uh, one of the strengths of uh, corrupt intervention. You can you can end up with scenarios like that pretty often uh, when you're playing killer, where all the survivors survivors just kind of grouped up like that, and you just keep chaining, you know, down after down after down, and just getting hooks nonstop. And I think that's a wrap. All right, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And um, yeah. I'll uh, see you next time.